Hey guys, today is the first time I am doing a like workout with me video like where the full video is about working out. I follow a lot of Instagrammers and YouTubers um, that vary from Ashley Say Quay, Heidi Summers, Whitney Simmons, Nikki Blackadder, and a couple others that I'll um, all list down below. And I know it can be intimidating like if you're not in their shape to take on some of these workouts. So I want to show you guys me doing their workouts. And just a little background story on me. You're going to see um, a picture of me. I used to be over 40 pounds heavier like five years ago. I went on this journey of getting healthy and working out. And I wanted you guys to see just how far I've come. I still have a lot more further I want to go. But here is what I am doing in my workout today. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. When I'm working out in the gym, I like to start out with um, at least 20 minutes on the treadmill. I raise it up as high as it will possibly go. And then I usually walk at 2.5 to 3 point something miles an hour. Nothing too crazy. Just trying to get warmed up, trying to get the blood flowing. But on this day, I actually did a total of 47 minutes of cardio on the treadmill and that's because I was watching Christian Guzman's latest video that he had uploaded and it was like 40 something minutes long and I just wanted to see like his results from his show but anyways yeah um, I was that was a lot of cardio for me after that I jumped into just coming to warming up my legs a little bit more and activating my glutes by doing some um, squats but they were sorry pulsing squats I wanted to make sure I say that right and then I just warm up my arms with some push-ups um, I use the workout bench as like um, a scale for a push-up. I can do full push-ups, but I was just really trying to warm up my body and my arms and get the blood flowing. Um, if you can do regular push-ups and you're really good at it, then do regular push-ups. If you can't, then scale it back. Oh, I didn't even realize I also did leg kickbacks. Sorry about that. But um, I'm just trying to activate my muscles and get them moving and going um, for my actual workout. Today's workout is just a kind of a full body workout. And when I do full body workouts, I try to do it quickly and get in and out. Most of my reps are um, like, I try to get 10 to 12 reps in to three to four sets, just depending on what it is. Um, and so you kind of go and do it based on what you feel you need and where you're at in your fitness. I also try to add a little bit of stretching um, before I start doing certain workouts. I just want to make sure that I don't hurt myself. It's really quick. It's nothing crazy. It's like literally two minutes of stretching. I do more stretching at the end, but my first movement is a thruster, and I really like thrusters because they work out not only your lower body, but your upper body. It's just like a full body like workout, and it's one of my go-to moves if I'm short on time and want to have the biggest bang for my buck. Um, I'm doing tens in this video I've done 20 to 25s but I'm trying to really concentrate on lowering the weight and doing more reps and moving faster um, the next movement is this um, I guess step back type lunge but when I first saw this I was like there's no way this is gonna really work anything but it really does I feel it in my hamstrings I feel it in my glutes and then towards the end I start feeling it in my quads and um, I just really 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 have grown to really like this workout um, it's surprisingly a little bit challenging and so um, I just do a both sides as you see and um, I make sure that my knee doesn't go over my toe but I really like this it's a surprisingly good and challenging workout when I'm doing lower body workouts I like to switch out like in between like maybe do two lower bodies and then two upper bodies and and for this exercise I'm using slides um, they're actually furniture movers. Um, I've seen these all over Instagram and YouTube, but they're, they're these furniture sliders. Um, and this works out your upper body, like your arms area, but it also helps work out your core. I've seen people do these with the little wheels um, that you like push forward and then come back. This to me is really challenging. You just kind of go as low as you possibly can. Um, I've been doing this for two weeks now and I've gotten a lot better at it. I, there's still also room for improvement. But um, you're not going to improve if you don't actually try to do the movement. If you need to scale the movement and kind of help push yourself back up with your other hand, then do that. Eventually it will come. Eventually you will get stronger. But you're not going to get stronger if you don't try it. So just, 
I guess that's the biggest tip I want to take you guys to take away today is do the best of with where you're at and everything will come with time. Um, when I first started working out five years ago, I couldn't even do a squat. So I've come a long way and you can too. Next, we're just moving into, um, I guess, mountain climbers, but with the sliders. If you don't have sliders, you can always use like um, a towel or a scarf or something like that. I really like this too because these workouts you can actually do at home um, with a towel or a scarf. Um, it's really like limited equipment. But you're tr doing these mountain climbers with the choice of, or trying not to move your butt up. The next is the like mountain peak I like to call it. This is super challenging for me. I can only do five at a time and then I have to take a break. But you're basically trying to use your um, abdominal muscles to bring your legs and your feet as close as you can to your hands. Um, it's gotten better over time. From there I move on to um, these like lunges, um, these sliding lunges and um, you're basically just lunging back trying to make sure your knee doesn't go past your toe and you're pushing your other leg back and this is actually a really good workout too. It's definitely different than doing just a basic lunge. I'm better on one side than the other and I think it's because you have to concentrate on pushing that slider back so you're having to put pressure on there so it's just a little bit more challenging. This next movement is a hamstring curl but I also feel like since I'm having to hold my own weight up that it's also working my arms. Um, so I've seen where people push both their legs out at the same time and then bring them both in at the same time. I have to do one at a time pushing out but bring them both in at the same time. I think to make this more of a challenge or a better workout, I need to slow it down when I'm bringing them back in. So this next movement is going to be another upper body movement. And it's also a good scale. Say you can't do the first movement where both my arms go out. If you want to test it out and just do one at a time, this is also a good scale or a good way to work your way up to just doing one at a time. I honestly still feel like this is very challenging and um, I am still working my arms. It is still a struggle and you know depending on what you're doing that day for your workout it can be really challenging. So this next movement is a slide out push up. I am on my knees for this because I don't have a lot of upper body strength. Um, <laughs> As you can clearly see but if you can do a full push-up and you want to challenge yourself and um, do the sliding push-up in full push-up position then go for it I then like to wrap everything up with a really good stretch because at this point all my muscles are really warm they're wanting to be more flexible and stuff and so this is the time where I really work on my stretching I feel like stretching has just done so much for me I've been practicing yoga and getting more flexible and it's just a way for me to relax my, relax my mind. It's just, it slows things down. I usually use Sundays as a full body day and then I really take my time stretching and relaxing and meditating and, and doing yoga practices um, and it's just really helped me like mentally I think for the week. The most important part I think to realize during a fitness journey is it is a journey. It's not something that happens overnight. We all have our places where we start from. We all have our goals that we want to reach for. But just because we have relapses or setbacks and we, maybe we don't achieve the goal that we thought as fast as we thought we would, still doesn't mean that we don't appreciate the goals that we've hit or the progress that we've made. I can now do things that even when I was healthy um, and skinny, I, I could do things today now that I couldn't do then. Um, being active has helped me be a better parent. It's made me a more confident woman, a more confident wife. And I think that's really important and just appreciating how far I've come. Like I said, when I first started, I couldn't even do a squat and now I'm doing all kinds of things. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. If you haven't done so, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.